Good day! In this video, we are going to develop rules for speed, distance and time using the DST triangle and we are going to use them to solve word problem. So to find the rule for distance, we first draw the triangle of DST where D represents the distance, S represents the speed and T represents the time. So to find the distance rule, what we do, we are going to circle D because that's what we want to find and we have S and T at the bottom. So to calculate the formula, we just multiply the two numbers side by side. So it's going to be distance equals to S multiplied by T. Now we're going to calculate the rule for speed. Again, we are going to circle the speed because speed rep is represented by the letter S. So now you got D and T. So D, so the speed is equal to D divide by t because d is on top of t so we divide them and last but not least we are going to find the rule for time time we circle the t and again d is on top of s so the rule for time is going to t equals to d divided by s or time equals to distance divided by speed without further ado if we know this formula we are going to do some word problems and you find it very easy okay good now we have Example 1, we are going to find the distance. How we know this? Okay, we read the question. A car travels at an average speed of 90 km per hour for 5 hours. How far has it traveled? The word far means the distance. So we are going to calculate distance. So to do that, we are going to circle D. And the formula is going to be D is equal to speed times time because S and T are lining up by side by side so distance is going to speed times time the next step we're going to do is we are going to just substitute the numbers so from the question the speed is 90 and the time is 5 hours and the distance will be 90 times 5 and that will be 450 kilometers great we shall do the second example now the second example is we are going to find the speed so let's read the question an airplane travels 8,900 kilometers in 10 hours. How fast does it travel? The word fast uh, will indicate they want to find the speed. Okay. So again, you need to find speed. So to find speed, you just need to circle the speed. And this time, you have D and over T. D is on top of T. So the formula is going speed equal to distance divided by time. So the next step, you're going to substitute the numbers. So you're going to find the distance. The distance is 8,900 kilometers and the time is 10 hours. So you calculate them, you cancel the zero. The answer is 890 kilometers per hour. Okay, now we're going to the last one. This is the one that I normally use in my daily life, okay? So it looks like that. Find the time I am traveling at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. And the distance to my destination is 60 km. How long would it take to reach my destination? Again, this is how long. Long means how much time. So that's why we are calculating the time. So to do that, we're going to circle T because that's what we're going to find. So we need to find time. And because D is on top of S, so it's going to be D divided by S or time equal to distance over speed. To get the answer, you substitute the value. The distance is going to be uh, distance is 60 kilometers, and the speed is 90 kilometers, and the answer is going to be two third hours. Or you simplify them, it's going to be 40 minutes. So this is the quick way to learn how to do, do speed, distance, and time word problem by using the triangular formula of DST. Hope you learned something today, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.